That's our report tonight. Thanks so much for being with us. A little bit later on, the president speaking tonight. We appreciate you staying up a little bit longer for us. Thanks for being with us. Good night. Man, last night, Pistons had that last second win against the Rockets. Tonight, they go to Orlando, have a chance to tie at the end, and Lindsey Hunter, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, became the next contestant on Dial a Clue. It's enough to drive Doug Collins nuts. And the Pistons did a nice job of mounting their comeback at the O Arena against the best team in the NBA. Hadn't lost at their place, Orlando. And uh, Nick Anderson out of Illinois beats the first quarter buzzer. Five triples for Anderson in the first half. Nick had 31. Collins smiles about that, but he liked this a lot better. Just like last night, Terry Mills at the buzzer. Not the end, but the third. Carbon copy of last night keeps this baby close. T Mills had 19, then a phantom call. Those replacement refs call a goal 10 here on Lou Rowe. Not close. Collins went crazy. Don't read lips. Don't read them. Vicky went nuts there. Check out this. Magic without Shaq. Up by three. Chance for the Pistons to tie. Lindsey Hunter at a wide open Grand Hill and drives the lane. Only gets two. Pistons lose 96-95. Lindsey, what's up with that? Collins can't believe it and tells Hunter and Lindsey knows. Pistons fall to five and seven. Never a dull moment in Collins land. Look who's back for the Bullets. Michigan's Chris Webber, the third-year pro, has not played one second so far this season, has the injured shoulder, but he practiced today for the first time and hopes to play on Thursday. Webber from Country Day has to sit out a game tomorrow with suspension, but wants to get cooking already, shoulder or not. Basically, I have to just go out there and just play. If I feel myself pulling my arm back, I'm going to have to even put it out there that much more. Hey, I'm out there with Big George, you know, guys like that. If you get bumped, you can get hurt, so I have to let it all hang out. Talking about George Murasan. Weber's favorite Michigan assistant coach is leaving after this season. Jay Smith has taken the gig at Grand Valley. Smith, who is still the leading prep scorer in our state's history, replaces the retiring Tom Villamure up there in Allendale. Good for Jay. He deserves it. But right now he's helping Steve Fisher and the Wolverines 2-2 two and two as they welcome St. Francis to Chrysler tonight. And how about this? Travis Conlon, Lewis Bullock to Willie Mitchell, guy from Pershing. Wolverines led early and always. Gerard Ward can't hit here, but Macy O can. Baston led him with 15. Conlon and Taylor 12, 84-52. Michigan over St. Francis of Pennsylvania. Michigan now 3-2. and two. Easy does it. MSU, by the way, plays uh, Arkansas tomorrow in the grade 8 at the Palace. MSU women's coach Karen Langland gets a gem next year. Max Ann Reese from Bishop Borges is the winner of the Miss Basketball Award in Michigan. Max Ann, who has a 3.06 grade point average, is one of the top players in the nation. She beat out Flint Stacy Thomas. Max Ann is a cool lady. She can play some hoop. Borges moves on in the tournament, and Max Ann Reese shed a few tears when thanking those that made this honor happen today. I want to give thanks to all of my close friends, associates, strong fan supporters. I love you, and thank you all very much. Korean Merchant, Sarai, Tiff, LZ, Candace, Adrian, Lisa, Regina, Tandra, Peaches, and Brandy. Thank you. Those are some very important people to the new Miss Basketball, Max Ann Reese. Michigan beats Ohio State in football and cleans up. Gets the Alamo Bowl and both players of the week in the Big Ten. Tim Biakabatuk on offense and Charles Woodson on defense. He's also all Big Ten Woodson as a freshman. And two guys called me, still geeked over the win. They said, Mark, how about the fight song again? Show it. Well, you got it, guys. Fox 2 Sports continues in a moment. Take it, Lloyd. Hell to the victory.